Good morning. It's Johnny Sunshine. It's Sunday, guys. The Sabbath. Got my smoothie going. Kind of dumped a little bit of too much turmeric in it. And uh, I guess it's good for me, but yeah. Tastes pretty good, though. It's very quiet out here today. No traffic. Just got out of the swimming pool. Uh, it's pretty nice, but it's getting hot down here, guys. It's getting hot, Jackson. Scooby doo, be doo, be doo. Last week was an interesting week. I got into some tough jobs. Uh, seems like that's my calling, man. You know? Either that or they're just easy jobs that are tough for me. I don't know, man. All I know is it's all good. I will tell you on Friday, I, uh, when I was having lunch over at Morton's Market, great place. I had a nice, healthy lunch. And I gotta say, I miss my little lady friend. I'm gonna not use her name. So I was sitting there and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna call her up, man. Cause I miss her. And uh, I didn't have my lucky drawers on, but I called her up, man, and she actually picked up the phone. And uh, I went and picked her up, man. We hung out, cooked a dinner. Dude, you guys got to try some uh, fried pork chops, man. Like the old days. Them things have fallen away. We used to have them all the time. They were affordable, I guess, for my mom. <clears throat> but my little sweetie was sleeping and I uh I got up and I whipped her up a nice meal, man. Fried pork chops about that thick, man. About an inch thick. Onions, mushrooms, sweet potato. Very nice. Delicious, man. Little salt, pepper, onion powder. Uh, garlic powder and some uh, cumin on them babies, man. And they just jam it. I mean, unbelievable. Then when I was done cooking them, I poured all that grease, which is the flavor, man. I poured them in them onions, seasoned them, little salt, pepper. What a delicious meal, man. What a delicious meal. Unfortunately, my friend's going to be moving out of state, and uh, I'm a little heartbroken. Feel feel bad for him. But sometimes change is, you know, what you need in your life. And uh, I'm hoping she gets where she wants to be, and... Uh, decides that's really not where she wants to be. Come back. Come back down here, man. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm trying not to do anything today. I do have to, uh, I've got these new chain, let me get these things. Amazon, very cheap, man. Only a couple dollars each. 
but I gotta put them on my screen doors because these damn dogs have destroyed uh, the latches on my every screen door in my house. But I'm gonna put these on in the hopes that uh, it'll. Wow, that fucking thing's strong, man. Oh, Jackson. Anyways, uh, I need to put these on today because my dogs are out of control, man. They are killing me. I know I'm not contributing. I mean, I know that I am contributing to some of the issues I have with them. Like last night, they came in the house late, and I fed them late, and uh, <coughs> gave them a fucking half of uh, lemon pepper chicken. And, uh, yeah, didn't work out well for me. You know what I mean. You've heard it all before. So it's a beautiful day today. Uh, I gotta go tomorrow and put a couple bidet seats in for a good customer of mine. Older guy. He's, uh, trying to sell. He had a big, big, big house, and he's trying to sell it, and the real estate market down here in fucking Florida is just like it always is, actually. It's up and down, up and down, up and down. Now, if you can, if you're good at reading the tea leaves, uh, you know, and you see certain things, you can, and you have a lot of money, you can make moves, which, you know, will make you a lot of money. Unfortunately, most of us don't have millions of dollars to play with, or billions of dollars to play with, and uh, we're, we're slap dab in the middle of another fucking housing crisis down here. Uh, it's just a fucking joke, man. I gotta find somewhere where I can live where my shit's not up and down, man. It just can't, you can't live here. People are moving the fuck out of this place, man. Drive down some streets, there could be 10 houses for sale on one street because their insurance is fucking tripled. You know, they need a fucking roof. They need a water heater after 10 years, even though it could last 25 years. Uh, the insurance industry is a fucking arm of the government or the government the government is an arm of the insurance industry, basically. Uh, ow! Motherfucker, man! Something just poked me in my ass! What the fuck, man? Yeah, it's getting tough down here, man. <clears throat> the only way you can survive down here comfortably and not worry is to uh, pay cash for a house and just pay your taxes, you know what I mean? Fuck insurance. I've been here for 37 years. I've never had to make a claim on a fucking homeowner's policy, ever. But all, of, but it's always, you know, we've got way more, we got to pay out a lot, and, you know, but nobody I know uses their fucking hurricane insurance or homeowner's insurance. It's crazy, man. It just doesn't make any good sense, you know? And this isn't like this in, in uh, other states in this country, man. Florida is unique. You know, when you come here, you're going to get boned, buddy. You are going to get bent over and fucking rump. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I've been kind of at a loss for words the last few days. Uh, I got to go back to that house with the Roman tub valve. Speaking of insurance, I was just at the guy's fucking house. Repaired his Roman tub valve and you hate to see a phone call from a customer you were at their house yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So his number pop, his name pops up on my phone. I'm like, oh fuck. 
So I answer it, and he says, hey, uh, John! He's deaf, you know? So he talks real loud. I need to get three shutoff valves changed in my cabinets. The insurance company uh, did an inspection, and there ain't a damn thing wrong with those valves, man. These fucking inspectors, the, they're all in collusion. Look that word up. We used to say cahoots where I'm from, but collusion is the word. And uh, the dastardly deeds these people are committing on the fucking free people of Florida is just unfucking believable. I don't know what that's all about. It's got to do something. It's got to have something to do with a flood in the house. You know, where they they make a note that the shutoff valves needed to be replaced and I I swear that at some point if somebody has a flood uh, claim in their house that that's going to pop up and they're going to use that shit against you that you weren't maintaining your house uh, so that guy called me I got to do his job tomorrow I got to do a couple bidet toilet seats which is a, a huge fucking liability I hate them I uh, just can't imagine, uh, I've never used one, uh, it just seems like it'd be pretty fucking messy, you know, shit flying all over the place, and you know, I don't get it, man. Uh, and then that, that house I went to to replace the toilet, and realized that the woman had a very nice toilet uh, already in her house. Um, and, uh, I didn't end up replacing it, but the fucking guy calls me back the next day. I see the name and I'm like, oh, fucking Christ, what happened over here? I gotta go back there now. And he calls me, I answer the phone, and this is actually her son. Kind of a strange dude. A little bit, you know. It's kind of old to be living with mom. That's all I'm saying. Uh, but calls me up and I'm thinking he's going to tell me, oh, the toilet's leaking or it's not flushing right or rah, rah, rah. He calls me up. He's like, hey, I've got a toilet in the other bathroom and I'm missing one of those caps that cover the bolts that hold it to the floor. I was like, are you fucking kidding me, man? How old are you? Figure it out, man. The fuck? I was like, dude, you need to... I, I looked it up online. And I sent him a link for fucking Ace Hardware for a $2 package of fucking China caps. So my... My thoughts that, oh shit, I got two callbacks. They didn't turn out to be callbacks. And uh, it's just another day in the life, my friends. Another day in the life. So I'm trying to figure out how this fucking thing works, Jackson. Because, I mean, I could pull a fucking engine out of a car with this spring. I don't know what's going on here. What the fucking, what the fuck's up, Chuck? Gotta be something else to this. Probably have to read them damn pesky directions, you know? It is a beautiful day, and I'm so happy I have a swimming pool in my fucking backyard. I, I haven't been in that pool in probably two weeks, man. For some reason, I don't know. It was a little chilly, and it was really, really hot out, and I just didn't want to jump in the pool, man, but I did this morning, and it felt good, uh, last week, I had fucking three massages, man, I had another massage yesterday, I had one, I think I had one on Sunday last week, then I had another one on Thursday, then I had another one yesterday, on Saturday, and I went in there, and I was pretty beat up from the first two women. 
fucking just killing me, man. Some of them, I think they get off on, like, torturing you, you know what I'm saying? And I'm trying to be a tough guy. Like, I can't tap out. I can't fucking put my no, tap on, on the leg. Hey, 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 I'm, you know, I'm done. I quit. And uh, so I go in there yesterday, and I tell this lady, I said, listen, hon, I've been in here twice already this week. My body is killing me from the massages that I got. My bones hurt, my joints, my hips, fucking grinding on my shit. I said, I just need you to like tickle me all over my body. And then I realized who she was. She said, I, I've given you a massage before. And I was like, oh shit. This is rumble butt. Oh fucking rumble butt. And I could hear it again. I could hear her fucking stomach churning. But she's kind of lazy. I gotta say, it was a lazy massage. When the massage therapist sits down in a chair and then just like scooches her way around the whole fucking table. Uh, I gotta think she's not too energetic. She's like Joe Biden, low fucking energy. You know? And I could hear that belly fucking churning with her. She's got serious fucking issues, man. It wasn't as bad as the time she had to fucking say, Hey, I'll be back. I gotta go because I'm ready to blow. And I was like, just get the fuck out of here, lady. Quick. Before that fucking kadump a bump a fucking let's loose, Jack. But on kadump, but ink a dink, whatever the fuck they call that, them country boys. So yesterday, or the other day, was the uh, one-year anniversary, I think, either one or two years, of that little brawl that happened down in fucking Louisiana uh, with the people on the boat and the people who work on the dock, you know. Don't try that shit in a small town. I think of the words that fucking country singer sang. Well, they tried that shit in a small town and they got their fucking clocks clean. The hat went up in the air. And the brothers and the sisters showed up in fucking droves. It gave them motherfucking racist fucking assholes a fucking beat down. I mean, just a fucking beat down. And then them, those assholes who got their asses kicked. They got charged, all of them. All of them got fucking arrested for assault. But I gotta tell you, watching that fight, see, when I get in a fight, I think I'm in, like, the Olympics, you know what I mean? I stand there and I make sure I'm not doing anything that's going to break the rules. And that's not a good way to be, man. When you're in a fight, everything's fucking... Everything's on the table. Rip a fucking ear off, poke a fucking eye out. Stick your fingers up their nose and just fucking rip it off. That's what happened on that dock. Them motherfuckers got beat up with fucking chairs. Just one guy was poking another guy's fucking eyes out. They know how to fight, man. This is a street fight. This ain't the Olympics. Pretty funny. That was great, because it came out right after that. I think his name's Jason Aldean. Came out with his divisive song about don't try that shit in a small town, because we got something for you. Well, it's called Poetic Justice. <laughs> so Jason Aldean, if you're listening, don't try that shit in a small town, Jackson. That's all I can tell you. Yeah. That was one of the funnier things that's happened lately. Uh, check it out, guys. It's just a beautiful fucking day, man. I'm just sitting here chilling. Uh, 
My dogs are in the backyard making a big ass fucking mess for me to clean up. Uh, it never ends. But I got my plants all doing good. I got my bottle of water. Yeah. Heating up. Another minute or two, it'll be fucking 125 fucking degrees. Everything's a challenge down here, guys. Where you put your fucking water in your truck. You come back dying of thirst and you're like, son of a bitch, the sun got, the sun got to it. Fucking burns you. Then you sit in your truck and it fucking burns your ass. Burns your fucking arm. Put your own fucking arm out the window. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. So I, you can see that I'm kind of just meandering. I really have nothing to talk about, guys. So let's just sit here and meditate. Okay? Um, for some reason, if you do this, it's supposed to bring in the fucking frequency from, you know, out there in the fucking whatever that's called out there, the ethos. Yeah. Hum. Oh yeah, I can feel it. Here it comes. Yeah. That was good for me. Guys, I really have nothing to talk about. Let's do some hater mail. Oh, I can't even do that. One guy told me about that toilet that I repaired instead of replacing. Very short message. That flush valve uh, gasket needs to be replaced. It does, huh? I'll give you your number, pal. Every fucking flush valve gasket in Florida looks like that buddy. The water quality down here is fucking horrible. Uh, these people aren't the sharpest in the fucking, you know, they're not the sharpest knives in the drawer. That's all I'm saying. Uh, hey, look at the lizard, man. Look at the fucking Larry lizard over there. Larry's like, it's fucking hot, man. What's up, dog? What up, dog? All right, kids, the, the clouds are building, I can see. Uh, it's gonna rain again today, which is great. I'm trying to eat good. I, I gotta, well, one thing I wanna talk about is tipping. Let me tell you something. I don't know if it's just a down here type of thing, but I, I go to the massage place and out there on the fucking countertop, you know, for one thing, if you leave a tip on your credit card, they charge you like five bucks for that service, you know? And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm already being held up for a massage, get shaken down, paying them through the fucking nose, now I got to give a tip and they got this little plaque out in front that starts at 25 fucking percent. Then goes to 30 and 35 percent. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, let me just throw you an extra 40 fucking dollars for doing your job. Are you fucking kidding me? Nine out of ten customers of mine. Or 99.9% .9 of them don't give me a fucking tip. And we got these people who give a half-hearted effort, waitresses, waiters, they bring you a fucking glass of water and you fucking never see them again. They're gone, there's nothing. It's like, fuck you, man. For 30 fucking dollars, I'll walk over there and pick my food up off the fucking window. You know, when it's fucking ready. Instead of sitting here for 10 minutes staring at it while you're fucking picking your nose somewhere or fucking hiding, acting like you're busy. 
tipping's getting out of hand, man. It used to be 10%, then it went to 15 now 20%, you're a fucking cheap asshole. But I feel like I'm getting ripped off, man. I mean, I do tip 20%. I definitely didn't give that, that woman with the IBS uh, massage. She wasn't worth a 25% tip, man. Are you kidding me? The fuck, man? Goddamn cost you $150 to go get a fucking massage, man, for an hour and a half? It ain't right. These people, it's like they, it's, tip stands for tips is to ensure proper service. Well, we ain't getting nothing from these people, man. You got to flag them down. You tell them what you want. And then 10 minutes later, they're like, I forgot. I don't know if it's just a Florida thing, man. Like I said, these people ain't too fucking sharp. Especially the ones who are like waiters. Those, I mean, typically, these are people who are kind of lost. They don't really have, you know, this is like a last fucking resort type job. You know what I'm saying? Uh, unless you're a waiter in a, you know, $500 a fucking plate restaurant. Uh, for the most part, where I eat anyways, you know, they fucking hire anybody. You got a fucking pulse, you're fucking hired, you know? As long as you don't have fucking scabs oozing shit out of you. And even if you do, just wear long sleeves. So I got a real issue. Let me know if you guys think the same thing about tipping people. Uh, just raise your fucking prices and pay these people like every other fucking em employer and employee. Leave it up to me. Make me feel bad. Put me on some kind of a fucking guilt trip. Gotta give you a $20 fucking tip for a goddamn salad. I went into this place after the massage yesterday. I got a fucking little salad a meatball sandwich, and a fucking order of french fries. It cost me 40 fucking dollars. Are you fucking kidding me? Jesus Christ. Really? For four fucking meatballs? On a fucking piece of bread? That I couldn't even eat because they didn't cut up the meatballs. The bread fell apart. It's just a big fucking mess. Come on! Go Steve, the FedEx fucking truck. Every time I see a FedEx truck, I think of Steve Lab. <laughs> it's getting hot up there, man. Oh, fucking Stevie boys out there fucking gas and go, gas and go. Uh, for the most part, it looks like easy work, man. I mean, putting in air conditioning systems, obviously a fucking hard job, but, uh, you know, Changing out a capacitor or putting a little gas in. It doesn't look like the toughest thing. And uh, most guys, they're not, you know, like Steve's always saying to the homeowner, you need to fucking, you know, service this thing. Well, Steve, that's what you're here for. What the fuck? Some 89-year-old fucking lady's going to come out and clean her fucking coil? Or a fucking micro coil? Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hit and run is what it's called. Not gas and go. It's fucking hit and run, Jackson. Anyways, uh, I feel better now that I've gotten that off my chest. I'm wearing Milwaukee, a Milwaukee shirt here. But I'm not a big fan, man, because they're not friends of ours, you know? Tradesmen. Not when they're charging us $150 for a fucking battery, man, you know? I don't like it. I don't like it. So the kids who are born these days, they grow, they're growing up in this world, but this world is so different 
from the world that I grew up in, uh, what we did in the summer, uh, we didn't have all these fucking toys and redundant bullshit, stupid, man. A fucking cordless tool for every little fucking job. I probably have, at the prices of these batteries today, I probably have fifteen, sixteen, seven, two thousand dollars worth of fucking batteries that cost twenty dollars to produce uh, on my truck. It's just fucked up. I just don't like it. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Throw some fire at me. Make some comments. Uh, it's kind of a slow day. I'm just going to clean my house. I will tell you, these little vacuums, I modified my vacuum uh, from Milwaukee, the battery-operated one. Uh, it's great. I, I, I put a long handle on it uh, with a, uh, a flant or whatever you call the tool at the end of the hose. Uh, this one has no hair, no, no um, brush on it or anything. So it's great for picking up dog hair in my house. And it takes me, I don't know, 15 minutes to vacuum my whole house holding this thing. And it's got a good HEPA filter. Uh, but I got to hurry the fuck up, man. Because the M18 batteries, if you let that vacuum run for fucking 20 minutes, it's going to die, the battery. Bullshit they put out there. Yeah, it runs for 24 hours. My fucking ass. So I'm fucking flying through the fucking house, playing beat the clock. You know, I'm fucking trying to get all this dog hair up. Now Gussie, he's coming into my house because he dug a deep ass hole to keep himself cool outside. And and he goes swimming, then he crawls in that hole. And now my whole house is full of sand, man. I just can't keep up with these guys, man. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hopefully, you know, next time I need to buy a dog, they're going to have a, like, a little German Shepherd robot dog, you know, and I could, you know, they don't shed, they don't shit, I don't have to feed them. Last night, man, I went and picked up some dog food, fucking $45 for a bag of fucking dog food, and then eight bucks for a fucking lemon pepper chicken, man. For the dogs. For the fucking dogs. And what do I get in return? Fucking dog shit in my house. What the fuck, man? This is not right. I miss my little lady, man. I miss my girl. Taz, give me a call. Come on, baby. Oh, it's another day in the life, guys. Have a great day, man. See ya.